Welcome to Big Mama's house here in the Midwest. It is May 6th, 2023. It is a beautiful spring evening here. And I want to introduce you to our new podcast, Big Mama's House, where everyone is welcome. Everybody's family. That's right. We want to have a place for everyone to come, ask questions, get advice, hear about other people's way of life, and maybe, you know, make friends and even a new online community family. Um, my name is Big Mama. I'm in my early 40s. I am married to Papa Bubbles here. Oh, Papa Bubbles. We have been married for 18 years, but together for 20. Um, we have two, well, we have three adult children. Our son, Tiger, our daughter, Mallow, and our youngest child, Lizard. Um, Tiger is adopted. I am not old enough to be his mom. He is in his 30s. Uh, Mallow and Lizard are both in their 20s, and they live at a home with us. Um, They'll also be in a podcast down the road. Yes, they will. Hopefully, uh, Tiger will be able to make it up from where he lives to be able to participate as well. Um, and just so you know, this is not anyone's real names. Um, we didn't really name our child Tiger or Mallow or Lizard, but that is the names that they chose for this endeavor here. Yep. Um, and we also have five other family members. They, we have five fur babies. Five. We have Rascal, who is a 10-year-old chihuahua. He is the king of the joint, the only little boy, and he knows it. We have, well, actually, Whiskers is our oldest, oldest grand kitty. She and Lizard are joined at the everything. Whiskers only loves Lizard. She hates everyone else. No, she loves me too. She loves Papa Bubbles. She loves Papa. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Grand, and Grandpapa Bubbles. She was our kitty first, and then uh, she became so attached to Lizard that, um, yeah, it was just meant to be. So she's now our grandkid. That's kind of weird from our child to our grandchild. It's the Midwest. And Mallow also has a little kitty named Matilda Jean. She is three. And she is a rotten, adorable, lovely little addition to the family who screams for her mother when she's not here. So if you hear very loud meowing in the background, no one's being assaulted or abused or neglected, that is just Matilda screaming for her mother. Then we have Molly Mae. She is our five-year-old Chewini. And she is just the sweetest, lovingest little baby girl you could ever wish for. And then our littlest, our youngest, our one-year-old on Monday, Ellie Mae. Mm -hmm. well, actually, we call her Ellie Beans because she's got the cutest little beans. And uh, she will come along and be might be nosing on the microphone or meowing or wanting attention or you'll hear her little bell jingle. So any noises in the background related to fur people, do not be alarmed. Especially if they start barking, it just means that they heard a cricket farting down the street and they're letting everyone know. Um, who am I? I'm a mom. I'm a wife. I am madly in love with my husband. 18 years. There is nothing I wouldn't do for any of them. Together almost 20 years. It, we, it's been over 20 now. In it August. was 20 in August. Remember? That's why we went to Pennsylvania. 20 years we'd been together and I hadn't heard about right now. What year is it? This is 23. I was I moved here in 2003. June of 2003 when I moved here to, to the mid right. Midwest. Oh, that's what it says this year. So it's August of this year. We'll be See, together 20 I am a wife that they can admit when she's wrong. That's right. As long as you correct me gently and don't right. make me look like an idiot. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. I hope I did not do that to her because she's not an idiot. No, you don't do that. You're usually pretty good. We try to be pretty open and accepting around here. Our kids know that. Our youngest tells me every. She comes to me every day with a story, saying, "Mom, why are what is wrong with all the parents that isn't you?" And I'm like, "Well, I don't know. I I, I just love my kids. You know, I love my husband. I love my family. You know, we are poor as hell. We, you know, are you know everyday American hardworking people who just want to get by. And sometimes it's harder than others." 
but we've had many, many ups and downs over 20 years almost, <laughs> and we'll have many, many more to come. But as long as we stick together, we get through everything. Um, I'm going to let you talk a little bit about you now. Okay. Because you okay. are definitely at least 50% of this dynamic duo. Okay. okay. Probably more like 45%. <laughs> but yeah, my, my name is Papa Bubbles. I'm actually, uh, I have another podcast with a friend of mine, Dead Eye Dave on Reject Ranch. Uh, that's a sports podcast and pro wrestling podcast. But this podcast here uh, is going to be mainly about uh, about family, questions, uh, suggestions. Uh, if any uh, listeners have any questions, you can always uh, ask the questions on uh, on our messages uh, whether type them or or a voice message, you can also do that. Uh, we actually uh, would love that, you know, and uh, we would love to have some feedback on our podcast. Uh, but about me, I'm a 47 year old uh, middle aged Northeastern who who moved to the Midwest. Uh, like I said, June of 2003. Uh, me and uh, me and Mama were together since uh, August of 2003. Uh, so it'll be 20 years this year. Yes. So thank you for got, pointing that out again. We got that straight now. Yes, we so do. So we're all good. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm from I'm from Pennsylvania. I will tell you where I'm from. Uh, but I'm living currently in the Midwest. But I am a Pennsylvania boy. I'm a like anybody who knows me knows I'm a, a Philly sports nut. So if you listen to the other podcast, Reject Ranch, uh, you'll know everything about the uh, the Phillies, Eagles, Sixers. Uh, not so much the Flyers, but they're not that good anyway. But anyway, uh, more about our family, about myself. Uh, I am uh, a property manager, you know, at three different properties for right now. Uh, but just a property manager. But yeah, I'm a property manager. Uh, it's a fun job uh, for three uh, separate properties, but it's a fun job. It's a rewarding job. Uh, I used to be a loan shark. Uh, not a loan shark anymore. Uh, but now I'm a, my job is, is a better job now. So, But enough about me. Um, this is about the family, not about me. Uh, so if we have any questions uh, about uh, about myself or about uh, mama or about the kids down the line, the fur babies, about our, our rascal, you know, because he's a cheese, you know, he, he really love questions about him. Uh, but yeah, right now I'm going to turn over to, uh, to mama and uh, she's going to tell you a little bit more about our show. We want a place where everyone feels welcome. We don't have a big house in reality. But we have a home in our hearts, and it is big enough for anyone out there who needs um, community and just a little bit of understanding and compassion and love and acceptance and whatever. Um, we have a child who is um, gender fluid, and that has been a process. And if I get their pronouns wrong on occasion, please do not judge me. I do not do it out of disrespect or anything to be, you know, I, I, it's all new to me. I'm learning. I'm doing the best I can to um, be a good mom and just accept everyone as who they are. And that's okay. So I will accept your faults if you will please not trample and kill me for every single one of mine. Because I promise you, we are going to say something dumb. Because we are humans, and when we get talking and laughing, as you will see in the future, we just get downright silly and goofy, and sometimes things come out wrong, or you th speak without thinking. So if something is said, or you think something is being offensive, please message us and let us know, because that is never our intention. So, you know, we can't please a million people 100% of the time, but I would sure like to please one person at least every day. You yes, know? yes. So if you need a family, if you need place for advice, or you just want to hear us squabble on about our favorite books and movies and TV shows, sports, politics, if you have questions or need advice about family or jobs or whatever in general, if you just want to, you know, pop in and say, hi, I think you guys are great, even though you're goofy as hell. That's awesome. Um... Where do we want this to go? We want this to be whatever. We want to make a difference for people. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Papa. I appreciate that. I, I was looking for the right words. We want to help people. I find it weird calling you Mama, by the way. I feel bad. It's weird calling you Papa, too. But hey. Mama Smurf, Papa Smurf. There you go. 
No trademark infringement intended. No. Um, but yeah, we just, Again, we're going to say stupid things. So. yeah, we're just people, you know, and we, you know, know that there's a lot of people out there, especially, you know, if you read Reddit, the am I an asshole stories, um, We will talk about those at yeah, times. and there are a lot of assholes out there, man, and if you just need, some, again, a place to go to vent or have support or just a simple little mindless chatter on your drive to work or while you're running errands or while you're playing Angry Birds on your phone. Is Angry Birds still a thing? I don't I even know. I don't think I'm so. old. I haven't heard anything about Angry Birds in like Yeah, you gotta forgive a me while. all. I'm old. Well not really old old, but I feel old sometimes. When it um, comes to technology, we are we are old. Yeah. Yes, yes. I'm really when it comes to games, we are old. Yes. Yeah. Um about me a little bit. I am disabled. I have a lot of arthritis. I I'm working with a rheumatologist um, on a definitive diagnosis because I have a couple different autoimmune issues going on, which caused me a lot of physical pain um, from my neck all the way down my spine, my hips, my knees, my hands feel like they're on fire um, and being stung by a million bees 24 hours 7. So it's hard for me to do a lot of things, but... Um, I've been working with different doctors trying to make it more bearable at least so that um, I can have a life with my awesome family and we can enjoy each other while we're still kind of young enough to, you know, be able to do things. That's another reason why I want to do this. It's not just a time filler for me because, yes, I have a lot of time on my hands, <clears throat> but I sit around and I do think about the, the discussions that, you know, especially Lizard will bring me those and my asshole stories all the time. And it's just amazing of how unaccepting and uncaring people can be towards, especially their children. Yeah, this world is is a bit bitter. Yeah, and it's getting worse. Yeah. And so we're trying to be a positive place. Like, don't get me wrong, I love gossip sites. I'm all about the rags and the check, you know, the supermarket checkout line. But, you know, and we might touch on some of that kind of stuff when we talk about TV and movies and stuff. But for the most part, we want to be a positive place, a yep. fun place. You know, a place where you're going to hear, you know, we're, we're going to get kind of heavy at times. We're going to hear some of the stuff about our history and our past and things that have happened. And hope that it relates to some of you out there. So exactly. We can, we can it's actually... not a, oh, poo, boo, -hoo, beautiful me, poor me, feel sorry for me. It is none of that. This is about how, yeah, we have gone through some shit and we are still going strong. Go, going slow these days. I move pretty slow, but I go. The rating on this is PG-13, by the way. Oh, yeah. I, I have a potty mouth, and I apologize if it offends people. I am a Christian woman, but I don't believe that God has any time worrying about the words that are coming out of my mouth, as long as they're not being hateful and hurting people. Exactly. Yes. To me, that's the most important thing. I just wanted to put that out there. I appreciate it. I know sometimes I get yapping and that's when it all comes flying out. But There are going to be a times so when I rant, all right, because I'm going to rant and y'all are either going to love it or not love it, not like it, but I'm going to rant and I'm not going to know what I'm saying at times and it's just going to blurt right out of my mouth and I'm just going to, we're going to have to have like uh, sound effects or something coming out. Right. Yeah. Well, and Mallow is also a terrible one. Mallow. Funny. She's even worse yeah. than me. She loves the. F bombs. Yeah, she's a, a truck driving sailor with those mouths. Yeah, she yeah. has her moments, but she <laughs> she tries hard. She's a good kid. They're mm. uh, that's the thing we can say about our kids. Mm -hmm. None of us are perfect. We are we have all have so many flaws and living in this very tiny home together, the four of us, it, it we we see them every day on display. But it's about okay, this is your situation and what you can do, right? And then this is like, if I can, can't do something, but I can do something else for you, it's not, uh, I'll do this for you if you do this for me situation. It's a, I'm going to do this for you because I can, yes. because you do so many things for me, you know? And by the way, uh, there's nothing against truck drivers or sailors at the last comment. Well, I think everybody kind of gets that okay. we're... Yeah. I just want to make everybody yeah. make it clear to everybody that I... Yeah, we're not against. dissing anybody. Exactly. That's not what not, this is about. Not yet. <laughs> now that we get talking about TV and movies and stuff, especially politics, we won't be doing a lot of that either because that can be very, very divisive. Yes. And I know that. And we don't want that. <clears throat> no, we do not. So, 
But we may touch on things that are pertinent in the news because there's a lot of trans bills going on. The elections. Santa's vs. Disney. You got to talk about that. Oh, one. yeah. Daddy loves that topic. I, I, well, no, I like Disney. I'm a big Disney guy. Uh, and so, I'm, so you can see, I'm not a real good big DeSantis guy. Spoiler alert for future reference. Well, I don't know if anybody's going to vote for the guy who's trying to take down Disney. Yeah, who hates Mickey Mouse? Who hates right? Mickey Mouse? Who hates Mickey Mouse? Besides the Santas. <laughs> Sure. See, that's how it happens with us. We get so off topic and it's going to, you'll see, when we have all four of us together, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be flying in here. We're probably going to forget there's a microphone in front of us. Oh, you will. Yeah. And you guys are going to be there for every minute of it. And if you guys like us and you decide, hey, you guys are fun. We want to actually interact with you. We are going to try to do some lives so that we, you can ask us questions, you can give us comments, and we can comment to you real time. Um, hopefully that'll be something fun for us to do mm -hmm. all together. And again, it's just about, you know, hey, you're welcome here. Everyone is welcome at Big Mama's house. Just come on in, make yourself comfortable, grab a nice crisp glass of Chardonnay or a Long Island iced tea. Or, or just a... Iced tea. Bottle of water. Big Big Daddy's favorite, your... Uh... Bottle of water with flavoring. Yeah, bottle of yep. water. Yeah. And drink town water because it's got lead in it. Yep. Oh, yeah. Midwest and the lead. Yep, yep. It's yep. terrible. But we're going to talk about all kinds of things in our lives that are, some of it's going to be a big fat downer. See, have you ever watched a Truman Show, that movie with Jim Carrey? This is kind of going to be kind of like that, but with audio, not with video. See, because we're, we're just regular old, middle-aged, so white, Midwest people. We're, we're not on the, we're, we're on the, well, I'm past the chubby side a little bit, but you know. It, we're all chubby. We're, we have faces <laughs> for radio. Let's just be real, okay? We're not beauty contestants. We're not, I mean, I think my husband is the hottest thing that ever walked, to be honest with you, but he doesn't feel that way. One of these days, we could go video. For an, for an episode. We could, maybe, if it's something that people, they really want to see our ugly well, my ugly. I feel, but you feel yours is ugly, and I think you're sexy as hell. So, I mean, again, we're real people. I am not going to pretend to be some confident whatever whenever I'm not. I'm going to be straight with you. I, I always try to tell my kids the truth. They may not like it, but they're going to hear it, you know? Same thing with y'all. If you're asking for advice or whatever, and I may tell you, hey, you know, you need to get your shit together. You know, you're, you're fucking up. And yeah, I said it. That's how I tell my kids too. And I, and I don't say it in a mean way. I'm not. Yeah. I don't care. This is my podcast. It's my house, and I'll do it's what I want. Big Mama's podcast. Yes, but this is going to be my house filled with my family and my right. friends, right. and I want everyone to know exactly who I am. We are not perfect people. We have made a lot of mistakes. Yes, and you know. But that doesn't make us bad people. We've always had good intentions. We never, ever, ever, ever would have wanted to ever hurt anyone. Nope. Um, so, but we will talk about some of that so that, you know, you don't ever have to be ashamed of the past. Because that's exactly what it is. And it's about doing better today and doing even better tomorrow and keeping your head high doing it. What about you? What is, like, your number one thing that you want people to know out there? About me? Just that I'm a regular guy. You know, I'm not some uh, fake, phony person. You know, even on a podcast, I'm going to be a regular guy. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to spout things that shouldn't be said on a podcast. <laughs> I'm going to, you know, say things that people might not like or people might love. Um, th that's why we're here, you know, for the uh, for, for everybody. You know, for all shapes, sizes. Yeah. Um, for, for every, you know, the sports podcast is different. Uh, but this podcast is going to be a little more controversial at times. Uh, we're going to talk about a little more, more controversial topics. Um, I do like debates. Yes, know? he does. So, oh, my Lord. So does Lizard. She likes debates, too. So if there's anybody who wants to debate Lizard, we're going to lose. Yeah, because she'll never stop. No. She will debate you till you die. No, but uh, as far as, uh, as me with this podcast, what I want is to uh, just let everybody know out there that um, we're here. You know, if uh, if you're feeling down, if it's like it's a Saturday night, like it is tonight, uh, and you're grounded in your bedroom, okay, 
like I used to be many, many years ago. <laughs> and I didn't have podcasts to listen to. No. I had uh, just uh, like old cassette tapes and uh, maybe CDs back then, depending on what age I was at the time. Uh, but I would want to have podcasts of certain, of, of like these, to, uh, for uh, for people to tell me that I'm not horrible. I'm not a horrible person. That I'm just a regular person that's going to do bad things, yep. you know, or not so good things. You know, I mean, that's just a way of life in the way this world is today. I mean, sometimes it, uh, I'm not excusing anybody's behavior no, no, at no. all. But we all know that desperate times are desperate measures at times. And that just because you do something desperate doesn't mean you're a bad person. Uh, whether it be either, either side of the law, you know. Uh, but it's how you come out of that desperation, how you make up for whatever you did mm -hmm. that, that matters. You know, now if you keep doing it over and over again, well then I can't help you. But if you do it once, you learn, you move on, then, you know, then just, just move on. And it's because you're not a bad person, you know. That's but, right. But if you keep doing it over again, what's the, uh, definition of insanity, you know, keep doing the same thing over again, expect something different. Yep. Um, so yeah, that, that's... It's insanity, you know, like the the Phillies baseball team keep having <laughs> keep having the same lineup, batting lineup every night, and keep losing, but they keep having the same batting lineup. That to me, Mister Rob Thompson, manager of the Phillies, <laughs> is insanity. Thank you. You're welcome, Papa, for that. You're welcome, sir. You always bring it back around to the you know that me metaphor with the sports every time. Because sports have the best metaphors. They really do. Even though sometimes I don't understand what you're talking about, I smile and nod because you are so passionate about it. Insanity is not that that definition. Of insanity well, not is not that actual instance. But, but when I mentioned the baseball manager's name, right, and a stupid that lineup that he puts out every night, that's insanity. Because the same thing happens, and it's been happening for this last six games. Yeah. So, but you all know what I'm talking about. If you, or you listen, will. if you listen to our sports podcast, Reject Ranch, you'll know all about that. But this, this all is right. about, in fact, what we're going to talk about tonight is what? Books? Movies? I think we should talk about the Sandman. And this here, this podcast isn't planned. No. Uh, we're, we're just winging it. We yeah. have a, a, a yellow notebook in front of us that has words on it, but we don't know what they say because we're just going to wing it. We're just staring into each other's eyes, chatting with you yep. guys. Yeah. Because we want you to know what's what's what, you know? Yeah. And I I got to thank Tiger, our son, who turned us on to the Sandman on Netflix. Turned you on to Sandman. Well, we were on vacation. Yes. We were on the family vacation. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we had a little downtime one day and they were pulling up some stuff to watch. And I was instantly hooked. I love all that kind of fantasy stuff. And yeah, it's just amazing how I mean I've seen clips of the of the guy who plays him in real life, and he is the biggest goofy goober in the world that voice completely different. You would never even think that it was the same guy because obviously he doesn't have black hair and white skin and walk around dressed all in black. Yeah, talking like this, just like The Witcher. He's different too. Right. Yeah, Henry Cavill. He he got ripped off, but that's a different different topic. <laughs> but yeah, the the Sandman. Okay, it's about Dream of the Endless, who obviously is the king of dreams, and how he got captured back in the day, and what happened in the hundred years he was trapped, and how he is going to rebuild his kingdom from the ruin that it got put in, and. You watched it with us, right? When we were on, you didn't watch it at all. Like, maybe an episode or two, or half an episode. I just that that place we stayed at was scary. Oh, stop! You know, and I just I was just anxious. That's all. Really? Yeah, I was anxious. Truly? Yeah, yeah. Huh? I was, I was anxious. Yeah. Okay. And you know this. I've told you before. This isn't nothing. Info about that. We were on a family vacation to see the his family. Mm -hmm. Last fall, yep, um, September for the Bloomsburg 
Fair. Yeah, Bloomsburg Fair, you can say it. Give a shout out to Bloomsburg Fair. Knobles, yeah. give a shout out for Knobles. Yeah. Amazing, best park in the country, in the world, in my opinion. If you're in the Northeast and you're close to it, go see it. Don't take it for granted. Knobles with a K, y'all. Google it. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, back to the house. Um, we were so I Airbnb'd a house for us because there's five adults and we took the two dogs and Ellie, who yeah. was what, four months old at the time on vacation? Yeah. And she was the best one. She slept the entire car the entire thousand mile car ride. Yes, we drove with five adults, two dogs, and a kitten. A thousand miles each way. No, who I drove. You, well, I'm just saying we were all in the car yeah. together. Yes, yeah, you were. You, didn't you were there, it kind behind. of. We were there. I was there, stop. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> sorry, this is what you're going to get with this, guys. Um, it was this big old house. It had four bedrooms and, well, it was like one and a, a half bathrooms. And, uh, and the basement and attic were locked. Yeah, we couldn't get in there. With pa and I understand. They've got stuff stored in there. It could be dangerous steps. The wall basement could be, because this house was like, what? A hundred and something years old. Could be ghosts. Built on a hill. Looked could, like it could have fallen down off the hill at any a, moment. Could be a person living in there like the movie The Boy, you know. And this little gravel road that was, looked like you were going to your death in. And then just in this little clearing of trees is this house. And it, 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 it was, I wish y'all. It was the beginning of a horror movie. Yeah, yeah. At one o'clock in the morning. We passed night. by at first when we were looking for it because it was like super late. We had driven all day and half the night. And we get there and we're like, no, that can't be it. That place is haunted. And we dri kept driving by it. And we there, there was this little gravel road. There was nowhere else to go. No other houses. So we turned around and we're like, that can't be it. It was it's it. It's haunted. It was it. And of course, that was it. And the driveway was weird. But it I, wasn't it was haunted. It no. was a lovely place to stay. It was. It Very was. affordable. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, it was close to where we want to be. And it was We a, lived. It's a story. Every time we go anywhere, there's always a story. We survived. We survived the Amityville Whorehouse. Yes, we did. In... Horror. Not horror. It's, sorry. I, it's just my accent. Yeah. Just making sure everybody out there knew we were not at a whorehouse. A horror house. <laughs> sorry. I just realized we're going to have matching scars now. Yeah. yeah well, yeah. That's... Oh, yeah. Sorry, y'all. Microphone's that was on. A, yeah, that was a side note. Um, but it was a great trip. The Sandman. But yeah, but then you know, that's how we. That's how we watch the Sandman. Yeah. Um, I think it's fabulous. The effects, the characters. Oh my! The main actor. I wish I could tell you his name right off the top of my head, but I can't remember it. Um, amazing. The writing. So close. Whoever came up with the idea Would of it. Would you recommend our listeners oh my God, to yes. watch it? Oh, my God. And the second season is coming. And it's on what? Which but it won't be out until, like, next year, y'all, which is bullcrap, because it came out in September which, of last year. What streaming service is it on? It is on Netflix, which I said. By the way, real quick shout out. I know you said Reject Ranch several times, but where can they find you? Reject Ranch. On what platform? Oh, sorry. A Spotify and Apple. There you go. Sorry about that. So you just go to one of those two places and search for Reject and, Ranch. And if you're a sports lover, that is a place for you. Uh, yeah, a lot, yeah, lots of debating and stuff for different sports, different teams. Me and Denite Dave, he also, he, I'm going to give a shout out for him too. He's also got other podcasts uh, with his other friends with doing with other movies and different things. It's a totally different platform than we have here. But it, it, go ahead and listen to it on Spotify and, uh, and Apple. I'm not sure where we're going to be on. I'm going to put us everywhere we can because I want as many people to know that you can come on down to Big Mama's house any old time you like. All right, guys. Well, I think that's about it for this first episode. We will be back hopefully really soon with more about us, about our family, about our lives, mm -hmm. about everything that... Everything, and whatever. An, and another thing, sidebar, are you gonna, I'm going to be, like I said before, controversial things are going to come out of my mouth. And it's going to be about different things also. So if I have something on my mind mm -hmm. during the podcast and my and mom is talking, <laughs> I might just jump right in there with something totally different because once it's out of my mind, I forget it. I can't bring it up again. Yeah, in the same way. Because I have that. And he has a terrible, terrible, terrible habit of interrupting people. And you may hear yeah, me. Yeah, I do. You. Yep. You, <laughs> 
I might die because sometimes I pretend to die when he does that to me too many times and then he feels bad. So if you hear some dead air, it's just me dying from my husband's, you know, his, anyway, his excitement to anyway, tell all of you what's on his mind. None of us are going to die on our podcast. Let's hope not. Unless we do a podcast from that house we stayed at. Oh, goodness. We, maybe we could have caught all the ghosts on, like, the recording. Why do you think there was a lock on the attic and basement door? To keep all the skeletons in there, I'm assuming, because... Well, I'm glad they stayed in there and didn't come out. Me too. But anyway. Okay, y'all. I digest. Thank you for hanging in there with us this first awkward episode. This is our very first episode, so congratulations on making it. Yeah, we all made it here together, and yeah. that's how we get through everything. Yeah. All right, y'all. Good night from Big Mama's house, and I hope to see y'all soon. Be safe and Be safe. take care. Take care of yourself. Bye. Bye.